Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a abbreviated homework session pre-recorded for Monday, January 27th, 27, 2014. Uh, this is Quantum Leaf. We are a self-organized learning environment. Each day we come together at about 8.45 a.m. Eastern Time to do our homework. I'm going to be traveling today, uh, so I am pre-recording this uh, time is now uh, just about uh, 7.25 Eastern Time in the morning. Just need to get a legal out of the way. This information is for the purpose of educating members who want to expand the knowledge of the business of trading. It's not for trading or investment advice. You, know, you are responsible for the trades or investment decisions you make. Trading futures or any instrument involves the risk of loss. Please consider carefully whether futures or options are appropriate to financial situation. Only risk capital should be used when trading futures or options. Investors could lose more than initial investment. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Results in the trades you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please do your own due diligence and trade your own trade plan. So let's take a look at the numbers real quick. Well, we had that big move down and we went right to our main target below at the uh, micro composite VPOC at 1781. Uh, 50. I didn't expect to get there on Friday. I was really expecting to see that number sometime, you know, between today and Monday uh, and Wednesday. Obviously, we had uh, some major weakness come in on Friday, and they took it right down there uh, on Friday and closed right at the 71, uh, 1781.50. So we are clearly below the uh, year open right now. We're uh, uh, you know, which was 1837.75. We have a new year low put in at uh, in the overnight uh, session so far at 1776 and a quarter. So we have a new month low and a new week low and new quarter low. So we're making you know uh, you know new lows and coming down and retesting the 1700s. Uh, Friday in Globex it opened at uh, 1824 had a high of 1828 and a low of 1808 and we opened the RTH at 1811.75 and you can see all these uh, uh, Globex numbers and the RTH open were uh, lower than the prior numbers. Had an open auction out of range, uh, definitely a trend day down, uh, very strong move, uh, accelerated uh, as the day went on. Our initial balance high, 1812.25. Initial balance low, 1805 and a quarter for a seven-point range. All the intraday numbers you can see were uh, were lower. Our VPOC uh, was just uh, right there at that uh, CHVN that we were talking about would be the first target below 1800. Uh, that was our uh, RTH VPOC for Friday at 1798 and a quarter. And of course, we closed right at that uh, 1781.50. Value area, um, you know, was lower again, 1804.75 high on the value area high, 1785.75 value area low uh, for a 19 point uh, value area, very big uh, value area. And then our ranges right now are ex expanding. And we have a 20-day uh, ATR on the RTH at uh, just under 13 uh, for the full session, uh, just under 16 and a half, and for the Globex, uh, just around, uh, just over 18 and three quarters. Let's take a look at the uh, daily report. Uh, so far uh, in the Globex, we have a high of 1791 and a low of 1776. Our 20-day ATR targets for the full session uh, would be high at uh, 1792.75 and a low at 1774.75. And again, it's early still in the uh, Globex. We've been slow, uh, slowly climbing most of the uh, of the evening after going down on the open and uh, testing that other side of balance at uh, 1776.25. But we'll talk about that when we get into the uh, composite chart. Looking at the uh, News for the day, there's uh, Flash Services PMI at uh, 8 p.m. Central, and then we have new homes uh, sales at uh, 9 o'clock Central. So uh, first uh, half hour of the RTA, RTH open, be careful, because uh, we do have new home sales and uh, could bring another move, uh, you know, a sharp move in the market. 
Let's take a look at uh, the macro to the micro for the trend, see where we are within the trends. You can see that the uh, monthly, we've, you know, we're coming down to uh, you know, the lower distribution of last month. The last month low was 1754. We came down to 1776 and a quarter so far. So we are coming down to test the lows uh, of the prior month. But we have not broken uh, below the 9 EMA. Uh, and come down to test the 20 SMA. The trend itself, this is, you know, even though we had a big move down on Friday, you know, the overall trend on the monthly is still intact. Taking a look at the weekly, uh, we did, uh, you know, have our first close uh, below the 9 EMA this year. Um, I'm sorry, it's not uh, the, f yes it is. Uh, that was the week of the uh, uh, December the 9th that uh, we closed below the 9 EMA. So we've had our first close below the uh, 9 EMA for the year on the weekly. We've come down and tested the uh, 20 SMA and currently right now we've uh, bounced off of that and you know basically trading between the 9 and the 20. So we're losing slope. Uh, and we're losing separation, so we are seeing some weakness in the trend on the weekly, but it hasn't exactly been, uh, you know, violated. Until we break below and trade below the uh, 20 SMA, I'd still call the overall trend on the weekly up, even though we are seeing some uh, weakness coming in. Taking a look at the daily, well, the daily you can see that we had that strong uh, we had the close below on Thursday, and then we had the continuation and the uh, the big move down. You can see, remember, we were talking about that uh, uh, that naked cross down here at that 1795 area that uh, has now been taken out on the daily. Uh, we do have a new naked cross above us up here at uh, 1830. Uh, 1831.50 area to 1832 and a quarter. I'd call it 1832 and a quarter, and that is our microcomposite, uh, you know, VPOC uh, of the balance that we just fell out of and came down to test the former balance down there at 1781.50. Uh, 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 so definitely some weakness coming in uh, on on the daily, um, and we've got a bit of a tech gap right now on the daily so likely get some retracement uh, and uh, through time and price uh, come and uh, close this technical gap that we just created. Let's take a look at the uh, geometric. You can see that uh, we talked about the fact that we had uh, failed to, uh, that we were struggling to get back above the center line of the intermediate uh, uh, upward sloping fork and gotten back inside of the opposing downward sloping fork. And you know we have this energy point down here, which was down here at the 1781.50, uh, but it wasn't really uh, showing us hitting that price point until uh, the 29th. That's why I thought that uh, we wouldn't see this level, you know, on Friday. That we'd see it between today and on Wednesday. Uh, we've come down now, and we are testing the longer-term fork on the, uh, you know, the lower line of the longer. Uh, longer term fork. Uh, so, you know, the key here is do we bounce off of this area, come back up and test the lower line again uh, of the uh, intermediate time frame fork. A uh, move up there today would bring us up into that 1807 area, and that's that key CLVN that uh, we are looking uh, for. Of course, if we do bounce all the way off of the lower line to come up and test the uh, upper line uh, of the, or sorry, the center line of the longer term uh, f upward sloping fork, which we've been following, you know, that's going to give us uh, moves into new highs. And uh, I'm not anticipating, you know, that happening uh, anytime real soon. But the key you want to watch is if we break out of this, uh, this lower line and this longer term fork that we've been in for, you know, uh, uh, quite a while now, then I'd be looking for a move down somewhere down here to uh, test the uh, lower line of the down, downward sloping fork, and that's going to be somewhere in the uh, lower 1700s uh, and could uh, signal a much bigger move uh, 
to come and a bigger retracement within the marketplace. Let's take a look at the, uh, uh, you know, the trends uh, on the shorter intraday period to see how we are coming into the marketplace. You can see that we, you know, started trending down, you know, last two days of the week last week, and then we, you know, uh, really had that uh, accelerated move, created a uh, technical gap, uh, you know, on the four hour, and currently right now we've been retracing to come up and uh, close that gap, and that looks like a gap close is going to be somewhere between 1792 and 1795, 94 area. So the, you know, the trend is definitely down. We've got slope and separation, but we're coming up to close this technical gap that we created against the nine EMA. Let's go down to the 30 minute. 30 minute, you can see that, uh, you know, we had a very strong move down. You know, we've come down and we've, ex you know, we started uh, consolidating down here. And uh, currently right now we're trading above the nine and the 20, but we really don't have any slope or separation yet. Uh, uh, so, you know, we'll watch to see uh, how this, uh, you know, continues on into the RTH session. But right now we're in a consolidation on the 30-minute. On the uh, five-minute, just drilling down, you can see that we've reversed the, you know, uh, this down move, and we've got uh, a fairly decent, uh, you know, uh, trend going on the five minute. We've got good slope and separation. You know, price has been paralleling because come down and tested the nine a couple times and bounced off of it. So at least on the uh, the five minute, uh, you know, we're coming into uh, into the morning session with some strength. So let's take a look at the uh, the macro to uh, macro view on the composite. Of course, we've been talking about uh, you know you know this uh, number down here. I mean, basically, we had two major targets below. The first was, of course, this uh, 180275. That was the last most accepted price before they broke out of the balance that we were in uh, going back from uh, November 14th through to uh, December the uh, 19th which was that balance all around the microcomposite uh, at uh, 1781.50. <coughs> so we had broken, you know, we'd come up and accepted a higher value before the breakout. We broke out, came up here, and, uh, you know, created this upper distribution with the microcomposite VPOC uh, in around that uh, 1832 uh, area 1832 and a quarter, and then you know we tried to uh, to go higher and hold value higher. We we're trying to hold value up here at the 1839 uh, level, and this should actually come all the way over to here. Um, but we were we weren't able to hold that, and they came down, tried to hold. Uh, you know, after coming down and testing that 1813, which was where they uh, found. Uh, the buyers found value on this day right here and bounced right back up into that 32 area. Uh, we came down and tested again, rotated back up in around that uh, 1822.75, which is the first stop where they accepted value when we broke out of the lower balance up here around 1822.75. We closed uh, on Thursday at 1823.75, which is uh, you know, just under that value area low at 1824 and a quarter. We talked about uh, not being able to get back into value. We could see a bigger move to come down. And we were using this 1818 as the line in the sand because we closed uh, back up around that 22. And we said if we, you know, if we saw another move below 18, you've got to be looking to sell short into this because uh, we had been down, you know, once already. Uh, to pick up buyers, we are likely going to have to come down lower. And our initial target uh, below was this uh, 180250 with possible uh, responsive buyers stepping in at the 180650, 1807 area. And that's the upper distribution of this you know, larger balance area. But I said if we got below 1800, uh, the big number that you've got to keep your eye on below is that 1781.50 because there wasn't much below this. We had the 1798 area, uh, which was a uh, you know a, the immediate target below 1800, 
but below that, you know, you had the 1794.50, uh, which was the other side of balance. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, 1794 and a quarter, which was the other side of balance around that 70, uh, 1798 and a quarter. Uh, but most likely, we'd have to come all the way down here to the 1781.50 because there wasn't much in this area uh, below that uh, 1794 and a quarter. And uh, sure enough, we came down and tested that. And then overnight, you know, we tried to push through. We pushed down all the way to the other side of that balance, down at 1776.25, the other side of balance around 1781.50 in the CLVN. And then, you know, buyers stepped in and uh, rotated us up through that 1781 uh, and coming up to test the, you know, what I consider to be the big, uh, uh, you know, uh, other side of balance uh, up here at that 1794 and a quarter and currently trading 1790.75. So right now I think what you've got to look at is uh, our value area for this larger area. Our value area high in this area is 1796.75. Our value area low is uh, 17. Uh, 72. Uh, we're likely to come and uh, and chop around in this area uh, today as they consolidate and uh, mature uh, the auction uh, back down in this area. Um, if we come up and uh, you know dip back above this 94 and a quarter, I'd be looking for a rotation to test the value area high at 96.50 and a push to uh, you know what was you know value they were trying to hold every time they got up here, uh, up around that 1798.25, uh, and then possibly a, a push through to test the uh, 1800s from, uh, from below and uh, this 1802.50 with the push uh, to our ATR target above right now, uh, which I believe, let me just, uh, I forgot to write it down, let's just take a quick look at it. which is that uh, uh, 1792.63. Uh, which is right about where we're uh, trading now. So I'd imagine we probably get uh, some extension in this ATR target uh, today uh, if we can get uh, above this 92 and a quarter. But uh, above that, look for rotation to 98 and a test of 1800s. I don't think we're going to get back into the uh, 1800s today, but if we do get above, look for 82.50 and then push to this 1806.50. And that would be my extended target uh, for uh, today to the uh, top side. Of course, if we stay below this 94 and a quarter, I'd still be looking for a, a, a another rotation back down to uh, you know test the 1781.50 possibly come down and challenge the uh, overnight uh, low at uh, 1776.25 and the other side of balance at uh, uh, 1776.25 CLV at. Below the 76 and a quarter, the areas that you want to pay attention to, the targets, uh, 1772.25, that's our value area low for the larger balance area. That brings us out of this balance and a push through down towards this uh, 1764 uh, area. Below 1764, the big target below is this uh, 52 and a quarter, but you've got uh, a lot of undetermined fair value down in this area between 61 and a quarter, 58 and a quarter, uh, 56, 50, 55 and a quarter, and 52 and a quarter. So I think we come down here, look for 52 and a quarter, but I think it'll get pretty choppy because uh, we're outside of this upper balance area and coming down into uh, this area. And this is a pretty uh, choppy environment here. So I think that, uh, you know, this is a somewhat, uh, you know, distribution area that has undetermined fair value is what I like to call it. There's lots of price points that, uh, you know, they were, uh, you know, uh, advertising down here. So we could get a lot of chop. 
Uh, but again, I'm not expecting that big a move down. Uh, my extended target for the day will be down here at this uh, 1764 if we see some continued weakness in. But my main hypothesis is that we're likely to, you know, chop around in this area. So let's take a look at uh, the overnight and move our numbers and take a look at uh, any levels, you know, on this big uh, move uh, uh, down in this break, uh, this breakout candle uh, or breakdown candle, whichever you want to call it, uh, you know, on Friday. So just uh, taking a look at the overnight, uh, oops, this is my day session. Taking a look at the uh, overnight session, uh, we did come up and, uh, and make a, a, high, a higher high at uh, 1792. Um, that can still be extended, but uh, I have to start uh, uh, putting my levels in so I can post these charts. So just, you know, the caveat being that I'm doing this at, uh, you know, quarter to uh, eight uh, in the morning, and we've got uh, uh, a fair amount of time to, uh, uh, to uh, make a new high in the Globex. But currently right now, the overnight high is uh, 1792. And the overnight low is down here at uh, 1776 and a quarter. And the overnight Globex, or the Globex uh, VPOC is at, uh, you know, 1786. Which is basically right at the value area low for Friday. So you know you've got a uh, you've got a trend day. There's not a lot of uh, you know levels to to watch. I mean, I would watch this level right here at uh, 1796.75. It is the 50% uh, retracement of the significant breakout candle. I always watch for those 50% uh, uh, you know retests with the uh, VPOC just above it, up at the 17. 98. We're going to likely, you know, if we stay above this 81 and a quarter, we're likely going to open up in this lower distribution inside of value and inside of range. So, uh, you know, we've got a 96% probability of taking the overnight high out or the overnight low in range and in value. I would think that the probability shifts to uh, to take out the overnight high if we don't, you know, continue to make it a, a higher uh, overnight high or break back down outside of balance. We do have a gap uh, closed down here at uh, 1781.50, which is the you know uh, key uh, area of uh, balance down in this distribution. So we're kind of just uh, trading in this uh, this you know low volume area uh, in between uh, 98 and a quarter and 81.50. We're inside range, so <clears throat> if we open up in this uh, this area, I'd look for a, uh, a push through to take out the overnight high, possibly you know come down and uh, test the value area low at uh, 1786 in the VPOC and uh, come down and test the range uh, down here at 1780 uh, one and a quarter and close the uh, uh, the gap. You know, and come down one more time to uh, this uh, important number at 1781. I would anticipate, uh, you know, responsive buyer stepping in here and uh, you know, again pushing us up through uh, towards this uh, 1796 and a quarter, and of course uh, 1798. That's my main target uh, today above us with a push through to test the 1800s and possibly get a value area. Uh, you know, uh, play uh, with the move to test the value area high at the 1805 and a quarter, which is right below this, uh, this uh, now what is going to be a very, very key, uh, you know, line in the sand above us. Uh, and above 1806.50, we're breaking back outside of this balance below and uh, getting clearly back into the 1800s, and I'd be looking for, you know, a, a continuation move back towards that, uh, you know, 
1832. Not that I think that's going to happen today. Um, so the areas that I would be looking to do uh, business here is I'd be uh, looking at this, uh, you know, uh, 17. Uh, uh, 94.50. That's the key CLVN, but also right by this uh, minor <coughs> uh, LVN at uh, you know 95. Uh, above that, look for the push through to uh, to take out the naked VPOC and uh, come up into that 1798 and test the 1800s below. 1800 will obviously be a number that I'll be looking to uh, trade off of uh, because a break above that I'd be looking for a move and the uh, target above up here at this uh, 1806.50 actually it's going to be between 1805 and a quarter and 1806.50 so we'll just you know we'll we'll put it right there it's also going to be a trade area in uh, in addition to uh, the target and then above that you know the range high You've got uh, this 1812 uh, area, uh, which is the uh, CLVN uh, above 1800, and uh, you've got a naked VPOC up here at 1813 and a quarter, and of course the uh, range high from Friday at 181225. Uh, uh, so that would be a uh, you know extended target up above and where I'd look for, you know, possible responsive sellers stepping in to, uh, you know, to try to keep us down and uh, test the 1800 again and get back into the 1700s. Um, <coughs> below us, I'd be, you know, uh, I'd be looking at uh, this uh, 1789 area as a uh, other area to do business. Uh, that's the uh, CLVN. Uh, just below uh, the 1790.50. And we get below that, look for the move down to take out the overnight VPOC, take out the uh, uh, naked clothes and test the uh, the, uh, the 8150 area. This is going to be you know, my immediate target below is that 8150. And then a break <coughs> below that, which will also be a trade area, uh, I'd be looking to take out the overnight low and, uh, you know, this test this uh, other side of balance down at the 1776 and a quarter. And that will be my extended target uh, below. And below that, uh, you've got uh, the 1772.75. And, you know, the, you know, extended range and where I'd be looking as uh, extended uh, move down uh, today would be down here at uh, 1764. But I'm not really anticipating that unless we get some serious weakness uh, coming in uh, and I think the you know, home the home sales uh, could be that catalyst so that's what I'm looking at in terms of levels and uh, targets for myself um, I don't think that uh, we're completely done with the upside yet there's some uh, unfinished und uh, auction territory still up there uh, but I do think that we come and we consolidate, uh, you know, between this, uh, you know, 1798 uh, uh, area and uh, 1781. In fact, I'm anticipating probably uh, a fair amount of chop in this area as they uh, mature the auction down here. Taking a look at the Keltner, test of the upper Keltner line will give us 1792.75. Uh, uh, test of the center line, 1786.75, and then a move down to test the uh, low will bring us down to that 1781. So this is lining up uh, fairly nicely. Now, in terms of gold, uh, you know, the the big thing here is that we've been talking about this, uh, you know. Uh, descending broadening wedge and coming up and testing that uh, 
you know, upper trend line for the third time and breaking through. Uh, we broke through on Friday, uh, went up uh, in the Globex overnight and hit uh, our one of our main targets above, which was that uh, you know 1275 area, pushed through to 1279.80, and we've currently come down and we're testing the uh, the uh, trend line from above. But this break above, if we can hold above this uh, upper trend line, then <clears throat> I'm anticipating a much bigger move uh, in gold. And we can go and take a quick look at the uh, the gold uh, composite. So we've broken, <clears throat> we've broken out. We're looking at this uh, 1264 uh, uh, level, uh, and then the targets above. Remember, we're at uh, 72 and 74, uh, with the other side of balance being uh, 76 uh, and uh, and a third, uh, with a possible move up to this uh, 1282.30. We're come down and we're back challenging this uh, 1264. If we can stay above the 1264, look for continuation back up to that 72.74 level and a push through to test the range high so far uh, up at uh, 79.80 with a push through to this uh, 1282.30 maybe come up and test the uh, 1300 from below today but I'm not anticipating that I'm thinking if we stay above the 64 we're going to chop around uh, between this 8230 and this uh, 74 area below 64 uh, uh, 70 look for rotation back towards this 57 uh, area 57 58 area and you know, test this uh, other side of balance down here at 54. Below 54, everything shifts back towards that uh, 1241, 1242 area, uh, with an extended target down here below at uh, you know the former microcomposite VPOC uh, that we broke out of that 1226 area. So that's what I'm looking at of gold. Anyway, I'm not going to be trading today. I'll be traveling. Uh, so you know, uh, be careful. You know, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.